Have you ever taken an antibiotic? And did you really need this miracle medicine? Tonight, Panorama investigates the rise of the superbugs, organisms that may soon defeat everything modern medicine can throw at them. This is our worst nightmare, really, taking us back to the Stone Age. Everything we take for granted in medicine would go. So what happens if the drugs stop working? It's terrifying because if I get an infection and the antibiotics didn't clear that infection, well, my future's grim. Some superbugs are now resistant to nearly every antibiotic. If they all fail, the consequences would be horrendous. We have to get on top of this or people will lose modern medicine. Modern cancer therapy won't be possible. Antibiotic resistance could be apocalyptic. Worldwide, that danger is being increased by a lack of controls on antibiotics, some of which are the last line of defence for the NHS. In India, we set out to buy these drugs, no questions asked. Thank you very much. It's as simple as that. Most of us take these pills for granted. Antibiotics can cure bacterial infections that used to kill millions. But one by one, they are losing their potency. And replacement antibiotics simply aren't coming through. The drug pipeline is running dry. The government's chief medical advisor says that could have terrifying consequences. In the first half of the last century, 43% of people died of infection. That was before we had antibiotics. And we risk going back to that sort of scenario. Last year, the Prime Minister told me there was to be an independent review into antibiotic resistance. And he issued a stark warning about the dangers posed by superbugs. I think this is a very serious threat. I mean, we are in danger of going back to the dark ages of medicine. We have to grip it globally because this is a problem that's going to affect every country in the world. The man leading that review is not a scientist or a doctor, but former chief economist for the investment bank Goldman Sachs. Jim O'Neill is now based at London's Wellcome Trust medical charity. We met before joining him on a fact-finding trip to India to hear his assessment of the cost of a world without antibiotics.